Hello Pisces! Welcome to your general reading. Let's go ahead and get started. So this is going to be a timeless general reading, which means that it may or may not resonate with you. And you are meant to see this when you're meant to see this, okay? Just keep an open mind and take what resonates. And hopefully I can gain some kind of insight for you and some kind of advice, okay? All right, spirits, universe, guides. What's going on with Pisces, the two fish? What? I'm pulling a spirit animal oracle card to see where your current energy is at for Pisces. Remember, this is a you know reading a general reading for the collective, so it's not going to resonate with everybody. Okay, I hope that it does resonate with you and I hope that you gain some kind of clarity okay Pisces let's do this what current energy <clears throat> Ooh, panther spirit it says reclaim your power so you've definitely gone through this period of like self-doubt and um, I, feel, I get this very like defeatist attitude, right? And I, and I feel like you're starting to, you're starting to reclaim your power. You're starting to come into your power, Pisces. There's a there's a fierceness happening here. It's like you're determined to to come out on top here. All right, let's keep going. So for your main spread, I'm going to use the Modern Witch Tarot deck. The Devil in Reverse. Mm -hmm. You're letting go of some attachments. <clears throat> You're letting go of what's been holding you back. Interesting. Is that what I should call this reading? Letting go of attachments? One more shuffle. One more shuffle for Pisces. I don't know. I get this very like. Killer instinct vibe coming from that card. Look at this. Six of Pentacles in reverse. It's like. It's like you're choosing not to give your time to certain, to, you know, to something. It's like you're choosing, you're no longer choosing to waste your energy on something or someone. And you're being choosy about where you, where your energy is going. And I'm getting this sense that it's, it's like, there's a lot of like, Focus on yourself. Mm -hmm. The Temperance card. You're balancing your emotions, Pisces. Mm -hmm. Which is beautiful. You're focusing on yourself and you're balancing your emotions. Let's keep going. I'm going to try to keep my reading as short as I can. Look. The Devil card in reverse again. Double confirmation. Like, you. <clears throat> You're letting go of a situation or a certain person that has been toxic and you're reclaiming your power. You're coming back into who you are. Maybe that's what I should call this one. Reclaiming your power, Pisces. Hmm. Very powerful. So far, this is a very powerful read. Mm-hmm. Knight of Swords. Things happening quickly. Thing 
you know, move. It's a fast moving energy. Could be you. Could be you taking action and making things happen quickly. Three of Pentacles. Working with others. You could be. Um, <clears throat> It could be, you could be a teacher. You could be seeing the value in other people and, and, and wanting to be part of a community, right? Wanting to feel like you're part of a community. Let's keep going. Pisces. This is a this is a good energy for you, Pisces. Then you got the chariot in reverse. So it's like a, the chariot in reverse is like a stuck energy, right? You feel stuck? Do you feel stuck, Pisces? Find out, or not being able to make a decision. Mm -hmm. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Not being able to make a decision regarding an opportunity could be an offer. King of Pentacles in reverse. Not feeling. Now, this could be another person's energy here. At first, I was like, maybe this is your energy. And this could be talking about like, um, a lack of financial stability, but I get the feeling that this is another person. Pisces. It's like, hang on, let me keep going. <clears throat> and then you got the Seven of Swords. <sighs> Someone's being sneaky. When that card comes up, it's like there's an element of deceit, there's an element of untruthfulness, inauthenticity. It could be you, Pisces. Mm -hmm. Or this could be the other person. Remember, energy is interchangeable. So feel free to, to switch up the, the roles here, whatever way you see resonates, right? <clears throat> but here's kind of what I'm getting so far is there's this other person who had who either you're wanting to offer something to or they're they're wanting to offer something to you and things just haven't been moving forward right like someone's having trouble making a decision to move forward here and like this person could also be wearing a mask right this person could also be sneaky mischievous I don't know let's keep going what are we at nine minutes all right Pisces I'm gonna try to keep my reading short okay seven of wands standing your ground fighting for what you want <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles could this be you? You're focusing on your coin? Yeah, it's almost like you're thinking about this King of Pentacles over here. Who this this other person is like who you're meant to be with, right? Who you want to be with. But for some reason, things aren't happening with this other person. 
things aren't moving with this other person and you've chosen it's like you're you've chosen to to let go of this attachment to this other person in order to focus on your coin see that and your rabbit too you got to take care of your rabbit or is it a hamster do you have it do you have a hamster pisces oh no that rabbit is cute we're gonna say you have a rabbit taking care of your rabbit mm -hmm. and then you got the king of cups in reverse <clears throat> you know that could be telling me that you're It's like you're not, I don't know, but you got the temperance card. You're balancing your emotion. I feel like, I don't know, let's keep going. Because if the King of Cups, there's a lot, there's a lot of love here with the King of Cups, but it's in reverse. Page of Pentacles. In reverse. So it's like you're holding on to the opportunity. You're not you're not wanting to take the opportunity. I don't know. Nine of Swords. This is this keeps you up at night. This is something that you're afraid. It's a lot of fear. There's a lot of like self-inflicting wounds here. And with the King of Cups, it's like, I, I want to say that the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles is the same person. And you have a lot of love for this person. You see stability with this person. You see um, an opportunity with this person. But because things haven't progressed with this person, there's a a stuck energy there's a stagnant energy whether it be you or the other person you are you have now decided to work on yourself and your and your own happiness you're reclaiming your power Pisces <clears throat> in reverse it's like slow moving action yeah the chariot in reverse is like you know things coming to a halt right and I feel like you 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 chose that <clears throat> or it could be them they could have chosen to, to put, you know put things to a halt but I feel like it was you because this seven of wands is like you're gonna stand your ground right and the Knight of Wands is like slow moving energy. Usually usually the Knight of Wands is like someone <clears throat> that's gonna take action. But the Knight of Wands is also someone that's like in and out. And I feel like this is you stepping out. <laughs> you know, Pisces is in and out. <laughs> Four pentacles in reverse. You know, that tells me that you're learning to let go. You're learning to surrender. Five of wands in reverse. You're avoiding conflict. Page of swords. That could talk about clarity. It could talk about, um, you know. I get the feeling that you're still keeping tabs on this person even though you vote even though you're focusing on yourself you're trying to you're trying to live your life you're trying to, to you know you're trying to do you you're still keeping tabs on this person mm -hmm. 
you're still contacting, like you're still hoping to contact, or I don't know. You're still messaging this person. You're still, you know, checking up on their social media, right? Nine of Wands in reverse, you're guarded. You're being very guarded. And I, and I get this feeling like you just don't want to get hurt. Pisces. One more card, one more card for Pisces. What is going on? Universe, spirits, and guides. What is going on with Pisces? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Three of motherfucking swords. That's what it is. You don't want to get hurt. Could be a third party situation. I did see two kings and a queen. <clears throat> I mean, feel free to reverse the roles. Like, it could be two queens and a king. I don't know. <laughs> but Three of Swords talks about heartbreak. Talks about upheavals in relationships. Could also talk about a third party situation. Mm-hmm. Yep, at the bottom of the deck. Everything is fine, Pisces. Everything is fine. Even though all your thoughts and fears are weighing down on you, right? Everything is fine, she's okay. She ain't bleeding, she's not dead. She's on her damn cell phone, okay? All right, let's clarify some things. Mm. Four of Swords in reverse. You've been taking this time to rest and heal. You've been taking the time for yourself. I want to clarify what this Ace of Pentacles is all about. Because this Ace of Pentacles is tied in with the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. It's like this opportunity is what is what connects you okay all right let's clarify what is this ace of pentacles where are we at 17 minutes universe spirits and guides why is this ace of pentacles here two more cards please wait Judgment. Nine of Pentacles. Two of Wands. And the Lovers. You know, this deck has um, four different Lovers cards and I have all of them in, in there just, you know, for whatever, just a, whatever. But this could be talking about a same sex relationship. Mm. It's almost like you see your, it's like you see the path. <clears throat> To this relationship and you're you're and you're wanting to take the steps towards this relationship like with the two of wands and the lovers cards it's like you've chosen a path towards this relationship and you want to take that path you know but you want to but you want to focus on yourself first And with the judgment card, you know, this tells me that this is a, this could be like a soulmate relationship. It could be a karmic relationship, you know? <clears throat> judgment card is like something happening that's meant to happen. Hmm, interesting. I think we know what's going on here. Yeah. 
Let's see how this King of Pentacles feels about you. How does King of Pentacles feel about Pisces? Look, they see emotional fulfillment with you. Ten of Cups. They see marriage with you. I think you got this last time too, Pisces. Hmm. Then they got the five of coins in reverse. It's like they feel like either you feel like um, left out by this person or they feel left out by you. They feel like you pushed them away or you feel like they pushed you away. Take it as it resonates. One more card. How does this person feel about Pisces? So this is a love reading, Pisces. Just as I thought. What are we at? 21 minutes. One more card. How does this king feel about Pisces? Look at that. The sun. You make them happy. They see like abundance with you. They see complete happiness with you. Beautiful, beautiful card. Mm. All right. What is the most likely outcome here for Pisces moving forward? What is the most likely outcome here in regards to this situation for Pisces? What is the most likely outcome for Pisces? bottom of the deck you feel trapped it's like you're 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 all up in your head about this connection right and for the most likely outcome look three of cups it's like you guys are going to get back together you guys are going to rejoice you guys are going to celebrate you know then you got the uh what is this six of cups you know, that talks about a reunion. <clears throat> Someone coming back from the past, you know. Reconnecting. And then look. The lovers, again. I'm telling you, this could be a same-sex relationship. You got it twice. That's no joke. That's like double confirmation right there. But who knows? Take it as it resonates with you. I just, I feel like you're going to be happy. This connection is going to bring you happiness. But for some reason, it, the connection is off right now. And I get this vibe of like you wanting to, you're wanting to work on yourself. You're wanting to, um... You're just wanting to do things at your own pace. I just, I get that, that vibe. And you're reclaiming your power, which is very beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and close out. Let, wait, 24. Let's close out this reading with another spirit animal oracle card. I'm sorry about all that noise. My dog is chowing down on some food right now. He's a pretty loud eater. Look at how cute this is. This card's been popping out a lot lately. Mouse Spirit. It says, tend to the small things, right? And, you know, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. It's saying like, don't like, what that card tells me is Focus on being in the now, being in the present, and appreciating all the little things that you do have in your life, all the abundance that is already there for you, you know? And by doing that, you're going to help yourself to feel more abundant within, okay? And that's really where self-love starts, right? 
it starts with appreciating all the little things that you do have. Like for me, it's like, I got this little cup for tea. I love this little cup for tea, right? Look at his face, you know? I appreciate this pen that I have to write things down. I appreciate this table. Yeah. <laughs> you know, as silly as that might sit sound, it, you know, it's, it's the attitude of gratitude. And that's what this mouse spirit is talking about. It's like understanding that you do have abundance in your life. And in order to feel that inside, you have to be present. You have to be focusing on what, what's, what you have going on for you now, right? <clears throat> and that's where self-love starts. And once you, once you um, develop that understanding for self-love, then you can make time for for this this love to happen and i get that i feel like that's what you're doing you're 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 working on self improvement in order for for love to happen and that's just how the universe works the universe is like i can't give you a relationship until you you have a good relationship with yourself you know all right, Pisces, I really hope that this helps. We're at 26 minutes. Um, if this reading resonated with you, please go ahead and click the like button down below. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And, you know, until next time, I will see you later, Pisces. Bye.